All right, the broadcast is live. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here and hit the Q&A box so that we can open this up to allow people to ask us questions. Okay, and so, all right, so welcome to the What Do You Do Show, Google Hangout Edition, everyone. My name is Tracy Allen. I am your host and the creator and founder of the What Do You Do Show. And I am bringing you all kind of awesome entrepreneurs from all over the world to uh, be inspired and motivated by their stories. So please make sure that you tune in every Friday at the same time, same place, and uh, check out the great people that I'm bringing to you. Okay, a little bit about myself. I am a video and internet marketer. I create videos and voiceovers um, for today's marketing for your business. Okay, so if you need any video or marketing information, contact me for more info. My son just walked in, so <laughs> um, if you see something going across the screen, it's not a ghost. That was my son. All right, so today's sponsor is Reverse Your Diabetes. Reverse Your Diabetes is helping people to um, get rid of diabetes within three weeks. So if you really want to get more information on that, I'm really excited about it. I don't have it, but my mom has it. Lost a friend uh, earlier this year who um, lost body parts before passing on. So if you're interested in getting more information about that, just go to MsTracyAllen.com forward slash diabetes and you'll be able to get that information there. So now, the big guest today, I have uh, an awesome person, a great friend, and I'm going to read a little bit about his bio um, because I it just great stuff. He's he's an awesome person. Um, the show's only going to last about 15 to 30 minutes, so make sure that you don't miss out on anything. But let me go ahead and introduce my guest for you uh, for today. All right, so he is a 1982 graduate of National University School of Business and has been a business owner, San Diego's mayor's uh, San Diego mayor's small business advisory board member, and corporate trainer and business manager during the past 25 years. While managing several San Diego area locations, he was trained utilizing a tremendously successful formula fine-tuned by TMW over, 20, over 35 years. This formula combined a successful advertising, marketing, branding strategy reinforced with employee training and development, leaving sales, profits, and market share to be assured by creating a customer service experience second to none. He is the CEO and president of uh, Future Trends America. His name is Mr. Reginald Sibley Sr. Welcome to the show, Reggie. Hi, Tracy. How you doing? Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for having me today. My pleasure. And I just really felt like what you're doing is so important for a lot of people because Nowadays, it's a lot of people that are looking for jobs, having a hard time trying to find jobs. A lot of people want to stay at home and avoid the traffic and just have a little bit more freedom but have something that's steady. So I really wanted to make sure that I got you on so that you can share what it is that you're doing that allows people to have that freedom to stay at home and work and be able, <coughs> excuse me, be able to generate income, especially as the holidays are coming up. So... Um, I am excited for you to share what it is that you do. Thank you so much. And I want to thank you in advance for the, uh, for the platform and the opportunity to, to share the information. You're welcome. So tell me a little bit about you. Um, where did you grow up and, and you know, what, what brought about this passion for the things that you do? Well, my background in, uh, is, is somewhat unique. Uh, I grew up between... Uh, San Diego, California, and Houston, Texas. Uh, my my uh, parents uh, divorced when I was uh, um, very young, and uh, my dad moved to, back to our hometown, which is uh, Houston. And uh, so I spent a lot of time back there, and uh, and I I really enjoyed it. It really gave me two um, different uh, cultural backgrounds uh, to to build on, and uh, you find out how people do things in other places, and. Uh, uh, it's not always uh, the way you see it. It's not always the norm. So I think that really influenced uh, my thinking and uh, my ability to kind of uh, be a chameleon and, and change uh, uh, when, when when needed to. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now tell me about Future Trends America. What is Future Trends America about? Future Trends America is a virtual call center. And when I mean by virtual call center, uh, traditional call centers, um, you know, staff, 
uh, folks, uh, they all show up and uh, to a particular uh, strategic location and work uh, they put in there eight hours a day with phones and uh, working side by side. The trend now uh, with, with businesses, because it gives them a lot more flexibility, is to utilize virtual call centers. Virtual call centers actually allow people to work at home. You, the, the challenge is creating that environment that, uh, that, uh, uh, that gives the impression that, uh, that you're working from a, a strategic call center, but it allows you the flexibility. So you avoid the traffic. You can uh, have a, a spare bedroom or a, a home-based office that you can work from and uh, utilize that so that uh, you don't have to get up and join the rat race every morning and get in the traffic and, uh, and uh, get dressed and, and burn gas, gasoline to, to get to work. But uh, you create your own environment at home that you're comfortable in and allows you to work uh, just as effectively from home. The, you know, with, with high-speed internet now, which uh, everybody virtually has at, uh, at home, that if you're blessed and you have the ability to have it at home, it allows the, the information that's needed to perform these tasks, it makes it available to, um, and you can bring it right into your home. So right. you don't have to go to a strategic location where they have computers and, uh, and, and phones. Uh, if you have a computer uh, at home and you have high-speed internet and you have your own landline phone, you can create your own uh, call center environment right there at home. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So now tell me, how did you get started in creating this company? Well, you know, it, uh, I've always been in, in interested and involved. My, my first career um, after uh, I, I got out of the military uh, was uh, in, in the area of electronics. So anything that having to do with uh, uh, the future and technology has always interests me. And uh, the, uh, the transition now and with uh, the advent of virtual call centers, I've had call center experience having worked for Sprint uh, in a call center environment. I was a, a trainer uh, using uh, teaching uh, technologies, uh, sales, and customer service with Sprint for about five years. Um, that allowed me to, to, to understand the whole call center business and uh, what it takes uh, to be a part of it. But uh, at the advent of uh, virtual uh, call centers, uh, that intrigued me. I'm saying, saying to myself that uh, if I can work and use, utilize my background and training experience, uh, to work with people that uh, that want to work from home, because um, I've become a, an entrepreneur and I, I want to facilitate people that want to be entrepreneurs as well. Uh, I saw this as a tremendous opportunity, so it can really couple a lot of things that I enjoy uh, together, uh, all in, in make it one one big package that uh, that uh, that I enjoy. You broke up there, so I, I, hopefully it's only me, but uh, you broke up. So that last part, we're missing a little bit here. Um, well, hopefully that... Uh, Reggie? Are oh, you? there you are. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully you got the point that uh, it, it the, the ability to to train and work with people in call centers is something that I have experience in and that I enjoy. And uh, so I, I saw this as a, a great opportunity to, to bring those things together. Are you losing me? Can you hear me I'm now? Hearing. Are you are you the hearing sound. me now? Okay, so I'll tell you what. We'll
Did you lose me? I sure hope so. Randy, are you still there? I'm here. Can you hear me? Okay. If Reggie, do me a favor, mute your computer for me. Okay. Mute your mic or something. And and for viewers, those of you, for those of you that are still here, if you can type in the chat box, let me know if you guys are uh, able to type. If you're able to um, see us and stuff, so just uh, I sure can type to me here. Reggie, okay, I'm going to try to do, let's see, well, I tell you, but mute, mute, mute your mic, mute, mute your mic, okay, so Reggie, I'm here, can you hear me, okay, yes, Okay, so, okay, so if uh, my viewers can type in, the type in there's some place that you guys can type. You might, Reggie, you might need to put your headset on, but just mute um, because now we're getting feedback. Can you, okay, did you mute? Say something to me. Can you hear me now? You hear me now. You, okay, mute. I'm hearing you um, in like three different places. So mute your computer. Mute the computer for me. Put your headset on so that you, well, no, you don't even, you're going to hear me through the phone. So just mute me out. Okay, how about that? Okay. Okay, that's better. That's better. Okay. Okay, it's just now I'm getting the feedback in my headset, but I've got you. But I'm still hearing you through the computer. So, um, okay, is there a way that you can just mute your...
Hello? Tracy, if you bet, you should just make him turn on his um, volume so he can talk. He was fine. Yours is going in and out. Couldn't hear you. Right, Olivia, text that to me. I was saying, text me y'all if y'all can text me. But um, okay, okay. okay so just text yeah, me and let me know if you can. Just let him talk. Just let him talk so we can understand what he needed to say. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. okay thank you. Okay. Text me and let me know though. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay, Reggie. Okay, great. All right, so the, the general consensus is that people can hear you, but they're not hearing me this time. So um, if you would, just go ahead and speak back into the mic. I'm going to get off of the phone because they said they could hear you. So I'm going to hang up off of the phone, unmute your mic, and let's uh, keep this rolling. Okay. Okay. Say something to me. Can you hear me? You are a true warrior, Tracy. <laughs> you know, we, we, hey, technology's not perfect. I'm not perfect, and we're, but we're trying to work this out because I want people to hear your message. So you go ahead and you talk. Can you hear me? Reggie? Say something. Talk to me. Can you hear me? Reggie? Reggie, talk to me. Okay, I can. I, I think we're back. I think so. Can you hear me now? I can. Okay, you you are a true warrior. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying so before we so uh, were so rudely interrupted. You were well, talking about uh, if you remember where you left off. Go ahead and talk. Well, you know, uh, you you were asking me why why why. Uh, virtual uh, call centers became an interest of mine and I mentioned that I, I have had some call center experience working with Sprint and uh, I've, I realized that uh, you know, I really enjoyed the training and, and working with people in that environment and uh, when I saw the opportunity to do it on my own uh, I jumped at it you know, because uh, the, uh, the, the technology is here and it allows uh, uh, people to, to really to operate your own call center at home is, uh, is something I thought would be a, a, a great Avenue for me, so um, work and train people, and uh, to, to deliver customer service. Customer service is uh, sometimes uh, underestimated as being a, a talent and a skill, and for uh, people to, to to be able to train people to develop these uh, these skill sets to allow them to, to operate their own business is something that uh, that I enjoyed, and uh, and I'd like to continue being being able to do it. Okay. Okay. So, what is um, what is your thinking behind um, starting a business of this type? I mean, what did what advantage to other people did you see in starting a virtual call center? Well, you know, there's there's a, a lot of people, Tracy, that uh, that uh, would enjoy working from home. You know, people sometimes people have uh, I, I know a lot of people that have uh, senior parents that uh, they kind of. Uh, Care for uh, their caregivers for that uh, that prevents them from uh, working outside the home. You have uh, students that want to work work part time. Uh, you have um, um, uh, single mothers and, uh, and 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 dads that are that are home based that uh, that would like the opportunity to generate income and not have to, to leave home. And then you have people that just don't want to get out in the rat race every day and have to drive from point A to point B to go to work. If you can walk down the hall to another to a spare bedroom and uh, and effectively do a job uh, this, to the same quality that uh, you would do it in a call center, uh, why not be able to do it at home? So there are a lot of people that uh, that would uh, have. Have you 
been on the freeway during rush hour lately? I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> See there, yeah, but when I when I, I think to myself when I'm out there, and uh, for whatever reason, I ask myself, could you do this every day and uh, be in bumper to bumper traffic to and from work? If you had the ability just to walk down the hall in your pajamas and go to work, uh, wouldn't that be a, a more of a, a situation that you'd be attuned to? And for a lot of people, the answer is yes. Now you have some people that are social. And uh, they enjoy going to work, you know, and, and having that, the camaraderie um, that they have with coworkers and uh, being able to be in that environment every day. But that's not for everyone. And just like uh, working at home is not for everyone. There's a certain discipline that it takes uh, to be able to work from home. So uh, I, I, don't, uh, I don't believe that uh, this is for everyone, but it is for a lot of people. Right, right. So now, what is a client services professional? Client service professionals, I mentioned before, the whole idea of, of customer service being a skill set is, uh, uh, you know, that's something that I, I, I feel very strongly about. So that, uh, you know, people um, in business, you know, customer service is, can make or break your business. You know, I, I talk to people all the time. And uh, I had a conversation with a son of mine uh, recently that was interested in, in opening a restaurant. And I mentioned to him that, you know, the food in a restaurant is usually the third thing on the hierarchy of, of importance. You know, when being able to market it and get people in the door is, is, is one. Customer service that keeps them coming back is two. And then, of course, the food is three. I, I, I firmly believe that uh, when you go to a restaurant, you remember how you were treated a lot longer than you remember the taste of the food. And uh, for that reason, I, I, I stress customer service and the importance of customer service. So being able to train and develop uh, uh, these skills um, with people and show them how they can, by, by developing strong customer service skills, you can always be employed. You can always have a job. And, uh, and if, you can, if that job can be located right down the, uh, the hall from... Uh, from your bedroom when you when you wake up in the morning and wash your face and hopefully brush your teeth, you can walk into another room right down the hall and go to work. That's a, a, a very creative situation for a lot of people. I hope I didn't lose you again. The, the, the picture that I have is frozen, but uh, hopefully uh, people can still hear me. Um, if you're interested and, and want to find out more about Future Trends America, I do have a website and uh, that has a lot of information that uh, is very informative that can kind of bring you up to speed on the whole idea of what virtual call centers is all, uh, is all about and uh, at the same time uh, capture your information if you're interested in finding out more. If you can go to Future Trends America Dot com, futuretrendsamerica.com, um, you'll find uh, uh, information that, uh, and if you go to the um, uh, contact box on that, on that website and, and leave your information, I'd love to have uh, uh, that information and, and, and we'll certainly contact you. We're going to be launching here in the next uh, uh, week or two, uh, getting started. And of course, during the holidays, uh, there are a lot of programs that uh, are going to be available for uh, retailers and vendors. Uh, we can be, we be Hello. I've got I've got you back here now. I lost you there for a minute, but I I continued to talk, so I wouldn't uh, wouldn't wouldn't bore the folks while. Uh, okay, it's okay. I think we've lost Tracy again, and uh, so I'm not sure. I'm still here. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hang on a second.
Okay. Um, can you hear me okay, Reggie? Listen there. <laughs> I'm asking my son if he's having any problems. So um, yeah, let me let's let's try to get this wrapped up so that people can get to the core of what it is, which is how to get started with you and how much can it get paid and what companies can they work with. So I'm trying to hurry up now. <laughs> well, I, I shared a little bit of that information during the downtime, and I'm not sure if, if you were able to to hear it. And I hope, I hope, hopefully, your guests were able to hear it. But uh, if you want to find out more information, and especially with the, the companies that uh, that uh, that we ha we have uh, agreements with that we're going to be working with, uh, again, if you go to the website, if you go to futuretrendsamerica.com and click on uh, uh, their clients, you'll see the uh, companies that uh, that we have an opportunity to work with. Uh, you'll also uh, be able to, uh, if you go to the contact page and leave information uh, for me to contact you, I will certainly contact you and, and get back with you and, uh, and share the information on a one-on-one -on -one basis with you. But um, I'm tremendously, obviously, you can, hopefully you can tell that, uh, that I'm really excited to, to be able to get started. Uh, this is something that I've been looking forward to for, for some time. And uh, you know it, it's a you know it, it's a, bl a blessing to a lot of people to be able to you know provide jobs in this economy uh, to have and of course people one of the things people ask and I haven't said the the price the, the salary range is anywhere from nine dollars to thirteen dollars and fifty cents an hour so you have the uh, the ability to um, uh, depending on the the client that you're working with and the program that you're working with uh, those of you that have uh, um, Skills in, in sales, and uh, want to do. Um, you have the opportunity to make even more. Um, there's there's a, a tremendous opportunity. So um, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, the, the a vehicle that uh, that hopefully is being able to, to bring it to you. Um, what I'm going to be doing uh, in in collaboration, hopefully with, with Tracy, is uh, doing uh, 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 training mm -hmm. online and to be able to to work with people that uh, may not have the uh, uh, necessary uh, customer skills um, set uh, initially, but we uh, we want to be able to heighten those skills and and to bring 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 it up to a point where we're 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 all about excellent customer service. It's all about making the customers feel uh, wanted, needed, and appreciated, and uh, so that they want to continue to do business with you and and all the vendors that uh, that we're going to be working with. So. Uh, with that, uh, that's the exciting part for me. That's what I enjoy doing, and uh, the, to have the opportunity to do it uh, for myself and on a larger scale is I'm really excited about that. So uh, I'm lo I'm really really looking forward to it. So wonderful. But wonderful. then again, I caught again, most of that. If you have any <laughs> go to the website. <laughs> go to. FutureTrendsAmerica.com, and uh, and click on the uh, the contact page and leave me your information, and we'll definitely get back with you. And I appreciate those of you that have uh, stuck through our, our technical difficulties today. I certainly appreciate it. I hope it was time well spent. At the same time, uh, I really want to thank Tracy again for being such a warrior and hanging in here with us today, because uh, this has been somewhat of a a technical challenge, but you know what? You know, you know, we live in an age where we expect all of this stuff to, to work like a charm. Uh, this is the, the, the technology. Like I said, it's been a, a passion and interest of mine for some time. Um, it, it, it doesn't always work. The ability to pick up a, a, a handset or a, a cell phone and, and and call anywhere in the world, we take that for granted sometimes. And uh, technology is uh, it, it's not magic. It is technology, and it, it is uh, uh, anytime you have the hands of men involved in, in any anything, there is an opportunity for it to go wrong. So those of you that uh, were patient enough to, to stick it out and hang in there with us today, I, cer I cer certainly appreciate it, and uh, hopefully uh, this is information that you found valuable. Tracy, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, where we are at, uh, in terms of uh, um, you being able to hear me or not, but again, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity. And uh, again, I want to thank you for being such a warrior and hanging through, hanging in there with us today.
I saw a little, Ooh, a little yes. bit of movement in there. <laughs> and, 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 yes, I, this is still there. But uh, <laughs> hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> but uh, but uh, hopefully we, we can thank all of our guests for, for, for being true warriors and hanging in there with us. And uh, we'll, we'll obviously, hopefully at some point in time, we'll be able to do this again. And we'll get a, have, have all the bugs worked out. And uh, hopefully we can do this again soon. Indeed, indeed. Well, then we have to do this. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Thank you, Reggie. Thank you, my guest. Well, if, if there's anyone there still there that can hear me, <laughs> it's been a pleasure for me, and uh, and uh, hopefully I'll hear from you soon. God bless you. Okay. So what did what was that? Last part that you said. taking time out to, to to be a part of a, of our of our our broadcast and uh, hopefully so hopefully we'll have an opportunity to, to do this again real soon and we'll hopefully we'll have much better luck at that at that time better blessings. So thank you, everyone, and I will say ciao for now. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. What's that? <laughs> so, 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 what? What did your computer get? My computer's diseased through the through the through the internet. <laughs>